Lowe's Florida Fishing Dude, and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, cook up a flounder. Um, I caught this one the other day, or actually yesterday. Um, I have a video up of where I caught it, but I filleted him up right here. You get four fillets out of a flounder. Uh, I was going to uh, make the video on filleting it. You can see he's he's a pretty good sized fillet. It's going to be a little bit of, little meal, but um. I was going to show you how to fillet them, but uh, my camera ran out of uh, tape when I was pretty much done, so I didn't make it. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to pan fry it. Some, some olive oil, salt, pepper, and this lemon and pepper mix. And it has a couple different seasonings, and that works really well. For pretty much any fish, I cooked some redfish the other day in it. So uh, here, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna put it on on about six. Get some olive oil. Coat the get a good coat on there. Not too much, but just get a good coat on there. There we go. And let that heat up for a second. Move that around a little bit. So it's got a, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a nice even coat of olive oil on the bottom there. Anyway, um, you can do this with a lot of different fish. It works well with pretty much any fish, but uh, I'm, especially with like the fish that have a like a more uh, bloody taste to them, like a uh, redfish or jacks, sharks, you can cook this way too. But uh, it also um, tastes good with, uh, actually it tastes good with pretty much any fish. But uh, yeah, redfish is good this way. Otherwise, I'd grill it. If it was like a lighter fish, like say a, uh, a sheep's head or a, uh, a whiting or something like that, I'd uh, grill it, and uh, to me, flounder just tastes better pan fried. So this heat, I'm actually going to turn up the heat a little bit until it starts to really cook a bit, until the heat starts going. But uh, yeah, um, and I say four fillets. What you do is I'll show you. You could say front and t or top and bottom and the top and bottom what you got to do is you cut down the spine of the fish which is about halfway and you just scrape the meat off of it and uh, skin it See? nice nice four little nice fillets I mean the smaller ones the lower ones are usually smaller but yeah and you got like a Pretty much, I only missed a tiny bit of meat on it, so. Alright. That'll, I'll wait for that to heat up. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Hey, I just put them on. Let it, I let it heat up a bit. I just laid them on. You can hear it sizzling. That's good. So what I'm going to do now, put the seasoning on. A little bit of salt. Of that, yeah. a little bit of a little bit of pepper. Let's see if I can do this with uh, the camera here. Let me put some pepper on this real quick. All right, I put all the seasonings on it. You can hear it now, Susan. So I put all the seasonings on it and uh, you just let it sit for a minute. You see, it's already starting to turn white around the edges. That's really good. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how good this smells right now. And now I'm going to get a... Um... I guess I'll just have to use a spatula. It doesn't really matter. Use grabbers, use a spatula, whatever you want. So, I'll let this sit for another minute. 
actually. There. Make sure it's loose off the bottom. Now I'll flip it. Nice white looking. You can see the crust is starting to Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, it smells amazing. And each one of these, most of these smaller ones are actually probably about the size of a chicken wing. Larger ones, about the size of a piece of normal piece of chicken. Nice, and I'll let that cook on that side, and I'll put the seasonings on that side too. Alright, so this fish is done pretty much. So I'm going to turn off this, turn off, dang it, that's hot, move it off the burner, ah, oh, perfect, oh, I don't know if this could turn out any better. That looks pretty good. Tell really you what, smells good. Oh my gosh. That smells really good. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make a sandwich or whatever, or you can just eat it like that. So, uh, yeah, um, beautiful fish, and, uh, sure it's gonna taste good. But, uh, subscribe, uh, Florida Fishing Dude. Uh, Check out my website also at floridascustomflies.web.com. Um, subscribe, like, you know. Um, also check out Fishing for Food 1. Um, he has some great videos using my flies. Um, and then also Catfishing for Life. He has some good videos. Um, he has a, a videos of some flies I, I sent to him. Um, so yeah, subscribe, like, and uh, Good luck in tight lines.